you know. What do you what do you make of this? You come to tell me about another country and how they do it. Yeah, well, I'm I've been in London now for fifteen years, um, but I'm originally from Australia. I find it quite difficult to come to terms with this, cause, and I like to sort of throw it on its head again. But in Australia, it's quite the reverse. Yeah, it should be. If you the legislation is such that if you don't move out of the way, you get fined. Yeah. So if people drive up onto median strips, up onto the pavement to clear a path for ambulances and the fire engines. And if you don't, you get fined. And I, that is the way that it, it should be. But I'm guessing the rules are here in place in the UK in a rather rigid fashion because, as that Andy, the police officer, was saying, um, if you go through a red light, you might cause another accident. If you go up onto a curb, you might cause somebody, I don't know, who's, who's got uh, sight problems from, from having an accident bumping into you. See what I mean? So I guess they're saying you've got to stay to the, on the road, you've got to obey the rules of the road and let us get around you. But I, I personally, Matthew, think we should go your route, the Australian route. Yeah, well, and, and, well, the legislation in Australia is that you're not supposed to do something stupid and you're not supposed to do, put yourself in jeopardy. But if it means moving on to a, into an intersection where you can be partly blocking the, the intersection so that the yeah. car or whatever can get through, then that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Or take bit more just sending the bill. And, and, and that makes sense, doesn't it? That's the way it should yeah. be. Were you aware of the rules here? Uh, no. I'm not familiar. I would have gone out of the way. And now, I must admit, listening to the conversation, I'd be like, oh, do I really want to get into the bus lane? move but i probably would well i think our initial I it. yeah i mean it, it's it's your reaction isn't it oh crikey I, I want to get out of the way therefore i will but um yeah interesting that that that, uh, that you didn't know the rules and now you did <laughs> we may have saved you some money well i just yeah i just assumed that it would be the same because me it's the logical thing to do I, I absolutely agree with Matthew, and I do think it's a logical thing to do. And like I said, many states in America have the same rules. And, and we're quite capable, as Matthew said, of not being idiots about it. I mean, go through something with pictures and get yourself into a crash. Um, but you will be fine if you don't get out of the way. It appears to me to be the most logical um, way of making sure that ambulances and police cars and, and fire engines can get to the emergency they need to get to. Um, uh, unhampered by us. So be sensible, but get out of the way. If that means going into a bus lane, providing you can prove there was an, an ambulance or police car or whatever behind you, you will not be fined and you will not be prosecuted and you will not be chased. That would be lovely, wouldn't it, in an ideal world? Matthew, thank you so much for calling with that perspective. Keith is in Leamington Spa. Very nice part of the world. I like Leamington. Hello, Keith. Um, uh, yes, um, I'm very wary of uh, the results of surveys, especially like the one you mentioned earlier, which showed a high incidence of uh, dri drivers who wouldn't yield to a yeah. vehicle, because it's not my experience. I live close to a busy main road junction here in Leamington Spa, and I can tell you that uh, from my observation, uh, when emergency vehicles approach, overwhelmingly, and I stress overwhelmingly, motorists do give way and allow the emergency vehicles to pass. Now, I do exactly the same, even if that involved entering a bus lane or inching past a red light or committing some traffic offence. And the reason for that is that when a case comes to court, there has to be evidence against you. And it's my opinion that that very evidence that the police would produce would also show that, that you were yielding to an emergency vehicle, and that would be a very good defence, in, in my opinion. I would agree with you uh, on the fact that it should be a very good... We won't take a fine off you, or we won't give you three points, but you have still committed that offence, and it quite clearly says in the Highway Code and in every other code you can read about this, is you must not break the rules of the road that you're on in order to assist or yield to an emergency vehicle. And, and that's why I think it needs to be changed, so that we're all aware that by doing our civic duty and getting out of the way, we're not going to be punished for it. I agree.
Red heading to a five left, can I not for long? Thank you. 